What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. PlayStation Experience 2014 day one has ended and I gotta say Sony came out swinging, Sony came out hidden for the fences and uh, made some pretty earth shattering uh, reveals today. We, they revealed Uncharted 4 Thief's End's gameplay was awesome. Uh, they unveiled some new uh, footage of No Man's Sky uh, they they unveiled lots of new IPs. They got so much more games coming that are supporting the PS3, the PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4. It's a really exciting time to be a PlayStation gamer. Now, the good news for people who like Street Fighter, the game that you see before you, or at least the franchise you see before you, is that Sony at the PlayStation Experience Day 1 has revealed two bits of Street Fighter information that I think is pretty earth-shattering. The first bit of information is that Ultra Street Fighter 4 will be ported up to the PlayStation 4, meaning that the Ultra Street Fighter that exists right now will be ported up to the PS4, probably with all the DLC that you can get, maybe new characters, maybe moving at a, a smoother frame rate, it'll be a definitive version of an already awesome game. That was great news. But the earth-shattering news that Sony made was that Street Fighter 5, the very next in the Street Fighter franchise it's going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive now when I say PlayStation 4 exclusive I mean a console exclusive not a timed exclusive it'll only be on one console and that console will be the PlayStation 4 the game will also be released on PC so PC gamers will also be able to enjoy this game now the reason I know this game will not be a timed exclusive or one day come to the Xbox is because Sony is actually in partnership with Capcom developing this game. So it's a Sony and Capcom game and it's going to be pretty awesome if, you, if, you, if I was to give my, uh, my thoughts on this. I think it's a, a great thing. I, I don't mind companies uh, working together with exclusives. Microsoft's doing it. Sony's doing it. And pretty much, if you want a particular game, you got to have the console to play it on. Now, I hear a lot of people out in the world of YouTube, Rich from Review Tech, uh, The Red Dragon, these guys are upset. They're calling this game not an exclusive. It's not ex it is an exclusive. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to count the PC as a console, go right ahead. But when we're talking about exclusivity, we're talking about console exclusive. No other console is going to be able to play this game beside the PS4. PS4 only. If you got a PC and you want to play Street Fighter on your PC, hey, more power to you. But if you own a console, we're talking about a console war, this game is only coming to PlayStation 4. It may perform better on a PC, who knows? But we're talking about consoles here. And with the infrastructure of the PS4 and the Xbox One, it is very easy to port games to the PC because it has very, very similar infrastructure. So if you ask me, this is great, phenomenal news. I think it's awesome that Sony is working with Capcom for this game. Capcom did something real similar with, with uh, the Xbox One with uh, Dead Rising. Dead Rising on the Xbox One is a console exclusive. It also happened to come to PC. Very similar deal with Crytek and Rise. It's a game that's available on Xbox One, come to PC. I think this is probably something that's going to persist and happen more and more in the future. But people who want to play Street Fighter V, people who are diehard Street Fighter fans, have got to come to the PlayStation 4 to play it. You guys comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about console exclusivity. Do you consider a console exclusive and exclusive if it comes to the PC? Or do you think that just because it's on the PC, it's like on everything at that point? Let me know in the comments below. As always, show your support, guys, by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.